Hello kids! Uh, hello again. Welcome to video number two in our math class today, Wednesday, April 1st. So as we were going, let's just continue to what we were doing. This is going to be another attachment to this email where we're going to do two more pages of math and I'm going to show you how to do it again in case maybe you didn't pay attention to the other video or you didn't understand the previous video, okay? So, the instruction says, write these pairs of numbers with the correct uh, symbol or sign between them. So according to the video that we had seen in the previous YouTube class that I just gave you, we have to take these two numbers, okay, so 379, I'm gonna write over here, abacus, page 16, this is where we are, okay, and I'm going to say number 1. And the numbers are 379, 379, and below it, 973, 973. In fact, I'm going to space them out a little. Here we go. You can still read that they're those numbers and I'm going to divide them. Now these numbers only have three digits. So, okay. Now remember that this is the, the hundreds column. Let me go ahead and move it a little bit, see if I can. Yeah. And this is the tens, and this is the ones, okay? Now, according to that, let's start up from the left, like we have been doing. Now, which number is bigger, three or nine? Nine is bigger. So we can just determine that 973 is the larger number, the greater number. So I go back over here. And I'm going to change the color so that we know that we're on a different page. 379 is the smaller number, so the symbol has to eat the bigger number. Now, how do I read this? I always start from the left. So 379 is less than 973. I think you can see it there a little better. I hope you can. I'm actually going to change the color so that you see that it is in fact. There we go. I think you could see it better there. All right, let's do number two. Number two. Oops, number two. Now, what are the numbers? 707, 707, and 907. The same method applies. I go and divide up with lines. And of course, these lines mean hundreds and this one means tens and this one means ones. Okay. Now I can see it. I always start from which side? From the right or from the left? From the left. You're right. Now, which is bigger between seven and nine? Once again, kids, nine is a bigger number. So 907 is greater than 707. So how do I do it here? Where do I put the symbol? With the mouth eating the 700 or with the mouth eating the 900? Remember the mouth always eats the larger number. But how do I read it? 
go ahead and put it over here. 707, sorry, 707 is less than 907. Because remember that I always read it from the left. Can you see it there? Okay. Let's do one more. Now it gets a little bit trickier because the numbers are trying to increase, are starting to increase. Now there are four digits starting number three. So let's go ahead and let's do it over here. Right here, number three. Okay. Now let's do the number 7,484. 7,484 and below 7,326. 7,326. And once again, what am I going to do now? Divide up my lines because now I have four digits, guys. So in these four digits, I'm going to have to think a little bit harder about how these numbers are classified. So here goes my hundreds and over here, sorry, these are my thousands, over here are my hundreds, over here are my tens, and finally over here are my ones. Now, I don't know if you can notice, but the thousands are the exact same number. So if they're the exact same number, then that's not how I know if they're different. Now, when I go to the hundreds, I found a bigger number here, right? So that means that this entire number is bigger than this one. So 7,884, sorry, 7,484 is greater than, so I have to change the symbol because that one is bigger. And how do I write it, guys? How do I write this? 7,484 is greater, sorry, that's in full capital letters. We don't want that. Than 7,326. All right, okay. You're gonna do exercise four, five, and six using the method that we've been practicing in this video and in the previous one. Then you're going to do some addition and subtraction here to figure out what these numbers are from seven to 11. And then you're going to do the exact same thing that we've been doing on the next page. This is page number 17 down here, I can see it, okay? Over here, sorry. Down here, we're on page 17. You have to do all of these exercises with these larger numbers. And then what are you gonna do? Now these are the same exercises, but the operation is a little bit different. Why? Because you have one number, and in some cases, you have an addition to do in order to figure out what the final number is and then figure out which one is greater than the other one. So let's do this step. Let's do number seven on page number seven on page 17. Number seven, sorry, number seven, 17. We're in the abacus, okay. so. The first thing we're going to do is write the number 4,069. But before we do the other number, I'm going to do it on this side, 3,469 and below it, 900. And I'm going to do this addition right now by hand, 9 plus 0. So I'm place on line over here and over here, and I'm gonna do it in red. So nine plus zero is nine. Six plus zero is six. 
4 plus 9, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I add 1 to my left, right? So 3 plus 1 is 4. This is my final number. I'm going to write it in the text so that you know exactly what it is. 4,369. So what do I do? I place it right below this one. 4,369. And now I'm going to do my lines and determine which is bigger and which is smaller. Okay, I do my tens, my thousands, my hundreds. So we have thousands over here, hundreds, tens, and ones. Okay, so right here, I'm going to go and say both thousands are the same, but there are three here and there are none here. So this number is bigger. So what is in the end? We have that this addition equals, what was the number? 4,369. Right? Do you see it? Okay, so in the end, I put over here 4369 I'm going to try to make it a little bit bigger so that it matches there we go and then I'm going to take my pencil and write which number was it that I thought was bigger this one and there you have it folks you have to do this with subtractions and additions to determine which number is greater or smaller than the one next to it. Good luck. Email me if you have any questions, and we'll talk on Thursday, tomorrow, for our Zoom class. Bye-bye, kids.